friends are going to get an Eiffel Tower. Yeah, good job. All right, did you get your marker? Yeah. All right, cheers. Boop. <laughs> we hope you have something to draw with. You don't have to use a marker if you don't want to. And have some paper in front of you. Yeah. You ready to start? Yeah. Let's do it. Right now. <laughs> now we're using two sheets of paper so that our marker doesn't go through to the table. Yeah. And we also have colored pencils. We're going to use red, blue, and green. Let's put those off to the side. And the first step is we're going to draw a line straight down on our paper. Okay. So we're going to draw it right here in the middle towards the top. And we're gonna draw a line that comes down like that. Is that cool? Yeah. So let's draw, we'll draw right here. Draw a line straight down. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, now we're gonna draw two more lines and they're gonna be a little longer, but we're gonna start up here at the top. So we're gonna start right next to it and we're gonna come down like this. And right at the bottom, we're gonna start turning out and then I'm going to draw the other side too. So I'll give you more dots. One second. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to draw this out. Comes out like that. Is that cool? Yeah. And we're going to draw. We'll draw a point there. And we're going to draw a line that comes down to here. Now we are leaving out some of the details so that we make it a little easier for younger artists. Okay. Yeah. And we're going to draw another line that comes down on this side. Now we're going to connect the bottom with a line and connect the top with a line. Yeah, all the way across. There you go. And a line up here too. Now right here we're going to draw an A shape, a really skinny A shape in between. Like that. So right here, up to there and back down. I don't know what A's looks like. Oh, sorry buddy. <laughs> Good. All right, now let's draw a rectangle. So we're going to draw two lines down from that so straight line. Yeah. This is the middle of our tower. And we're going to draw a line that connects on the bottom. Now we're going to draw the next level. So we're going to draw a line that comes out on this side. We're going to draw a line that comes out on this side. So I'll give you two points. So make it a little easier. So there and over to there, okay? Yes, one on the other side. Now let's draw a line that connects those two. Look, all the way across. So from there, all the way over to there. Good, now we're gonna draw another rectangle. So we're gonna draw two lines down. Yes, and one on the other side. And then we'll connect those lines. Now let's draw lines inside of this layer. So we'll draw one over here and one over here. Yes, you did that by yourself. One on the other side. And then we're gonna draw a line at the top that goes across. Now we're going to draw the next and last layer. Okay. Okay, this one's going to come out again and out on this side. Yes, good. You did it by yourself. Good. And let's make this line match the other line and come down further. Good. Now this line can come down even more. How about like right there? <laughs> Now let's draw the ground and connect the bottom line. So I'm going to draw a line that comes out over here, connects over to the other side, and I'm going way past because it's the ground. So we could draw a line there all the way over to the other side. Yes. Perfect. And then we can connect our tower into the ground. Now let's draw the inside line. So we're going to draw a line right here that connects to the ground and a line that connects to the ground over here. Is this fun? Yeah. You're building the Eiffel Tower. Do you know where the Eiffel Tower is? 
Oh, there. No, <laughs> it's really far away. Oh. <laughs> it's in Paris, France. <laughs> we should go there sometime. Yeah. Yeah, that would be fun. Let's draw another line that goes all the way down there. Good. Now there's a big arch in between these lines. So we're going to start here and we're going to draw a rainbow line that connects over to the other side. Big rainbow line underneath. Yeah, and then connect it. Perfect. Give me five. Perfect. Boom. Now let's draw the top of our tower. So let's draw another rectangle up here. So we'll draw two lines coming straight up. Three there. One right there and one right there. Two lines. Yep. Two lines. <laughs> now let's connect the top. Good, and then let's put another rectangle on the top, and we'll draw this one a little taller. Yep, and one more. Good, and then connect the top. Good, and then let's draw a big antenna coming out of the top, and we could even put a flag up there. Should we put a flag at the top? Yeah. Just for fun, let's put, mm -hmm. let's put a flag up there. So we're gonna draw an S line. That. S line. S line. It's kind of a zigzag line. Yeah, and then let's draw another zigzag line right under it. You mean S? An S line, yes, right under it that matches. So come down a little further. Let's start right there and then draw that same S line. And it's going to come out over and finish right there. Good, and then we're going to. Then we'll connect down here. Good, and then let's put two more lines. Let's put one right here and one right here to come straight down. This is the French flag, and we're gonna put the colors in there in yeah. a second at the end, okay? Yeah. Let's yeah. add more details to our tower. So there's a okay. bunch of X's on it. So let's first do lines that go across. So here we go, watch this. We're gonna do a line right here. So we'll draw a line right there. And then we're gonna go down, leave a little space, draw another one, so right here. Good, and then we'll draw another one down, little space. Perfect. Come down a little further, draw another one. Come down, draw another one, go all the way down. Yes, and then the next one, let's do the next one right here. We'll just do it on one side and then come over and do it on the other side. Okay, now let's divide these up. So let's draw a line right here, a line over here. So we draw a line right there, line right there. Good. And then we're going to divide up the next one. So line right here. Good. Now let's come down here and we'll put a couple more in. Let's do a couple down, this one. So we're up here, right there. <laughs> and then another one right here. Good. All right, now let's do this side right over here. So line across. Now we get to put X's in there. So up here we're gonna come up and we're gonna put an X. Look at that. Is that cool? So yeah. put an X that comes down here and goes across. Let me see if you can do it. Yes, and one going the other way. Good, now let's go down and do another one. This is the fun part. Now we're gonna go all the way down and fill X's in each of the boxes. Get so let's fast forward, okay? Get. Let's do it right, right. now. Now we're gonna add a couple lines on our little arch down here. So let's draw a line in the middle. We're almost done. Good, and then let's add a line over here, and a line on this side. Do yeah, that. do that side, and then the other, good. And then we're gonna add lines in between each of those. Good. And then maybe two on this side. 
Perfect. Okay, you ready to color it? Yeah. All right, let's fast forward again, right now. now. Awesome, we finished coloring our Eiffel Tower and we colored the flag for France up here and the first color is blue and then the middle is white and then what's the last color? Red. Yes, red. And then we added grass down here and you guys at home, if you want to, you could also color in the background. Yeah. You could use blue and you could color the sky, maybe yeah. even put some clouds in there. Mm -hmm. That would be fun. Or you could put like some people. Yeah, you could put little people down here that are visiting the monument. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we hope you had a lot of fun following along with us, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.